I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very popular question on linear systems application. Question number four. A boat took two hours to travel 20 kilometers down a river with the current and five hours to make the return against the current. Find the speed of boat in still water and the speed of the current, right? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now this is extremely important question from test point of view. So let's try to understand. Let's say that's the river flowing in this direction. Is it okay? So, so if you have a boat and you're rowing in this direction, let's say, then uh, the boat speed and the current both adds up and so you go faster. Is it okay? But if you go in the reverse direction, you are going against the current and therefore it takes longer. That's the whole idea, right? Now, to define the variable, we should see what we need to find. Find the speed of boat, right? So, let this be B. In the still water and the speed of current, we'll call this as C. Okay, so we have defined our variables. Okay, B and C. So, we are saying that the speed of current is C and speed of boat is B. Whenever we have distance time problems, I will appreciate that you use this strategy. One, this triangle, which relates distance, speed, and time. So we know distance is speed times time. This is one thing. Second thing which I always like to do is put it in a table, right? So since these are very common questions, let's define a structure which can help us correctly solve such questions, right? So that's the whole idea. So, so make a table here, okay, now distance, speed, time. So first is the event, whatever is going on, and then we say distance, speed, and time. You can write units here, say kilometers, speed is kilometers per hour, time is in hours. The event is, you're going down the river, so we'll just call this as down, and then you're going up, is that okay? So these are the events. Now, from the given description, just fill in whatever is given to you. And the last column, I should say the row, is for total. Total distance, total whatever, and the speed. You get my point, right? That is how this matrix can be designed. Now, this matrix helps to solve each and every question where distance, speed, and time are concerned. Okay, let's read the question now and fill in this table. A boat took two hours to travel 20 kilometers down a river. Very simple. Down a river means first row. Two hours, 20 kilometers. So time is two hours. Distance is 20 kilometers. Does it make sense to you, right? Then it says, so this is with the current. With the current, we define boat as B, C as current. So the speed is add them, right? So we have B plus C. Correct? Okay? With the current. Now, and 5 hours to make return against current. So, speed is B minus C against current, right? You go slower and you take longer, 5 hours. How much distance? The same distance of 20. Do you see that? Same distance of 20. So, that is how we have filled up the table. Correct? So, what we are saying here is that this distance is 20 for us. Correct? And the speed while going is, is, let me just, the speed while going is boat plus C and here it is boat minus C. So that's the kind of situation. I hope that's absolutely clear. And now we'll go to this triangle. How do we relate these three variables? How do we relate these three variables? Distance is speed into time. So it says distance is speed into time. So that is better, right? So distance is 20. So first equation is from here, 20 is speed is B plus C times time of 2. And the other one is 20 equals to B minus C times 5. Does it make sense to you, right? So what we did was we applied this particular formula, distance, speed, time, and found the two equations relating the data given for 
down and up movement of the boat do you understand okay now if possible we should solve these equations or rather simplify first right so 20 and 20 they can be divided by 2 and 5 so I prefer to simplify them at this stage if I divide by 2 I get 10 equals to b plus c and I get 20 divided by 5 is 4 equals to b minus c does it make sense to you right so what we did here was we divided everything by 5 in this case do you see that so this 5 5 cancel we are left with b minus c 20 divided by 5 is 4 and in the first case we divide 20 by 2 b plus c is 10 right we'll now call them as equation 1 and equation 2 now b and c as we have defined so we should have written here let statements so let me write down let boat speed be bb boat speed and cb current is it okay current of the river is it okay so that's the let statement right we need to find speed of the boat in still water which is b and the current now you could use elimination by adding these two correct that's simplest so what we do here now is we'll add equation one and two is it okay so when you add them up what do you get 10 plus 4 is 14 equals to b plus b is 2b c minus c is 0 so 2b is 14 dividing by 2 we get b equals to 7 do you see that so we'll call this as our equation number 3 so appreciate the method how systematically we are moving I hope it's very simple so we got speed of the boat now how do you find the current of the river you could use any one of these equations is it okay you're saying some of their speed is 10 correct so so you can say uh, equation 3 solve equation 3 and equation let's say equation 1 you could use any one of them substitute 3 in in 1 is it okay b is 7 we'll substitute 7 here so we get 10 equals to 7 plus c so 10 minus 7 is c which is 3 right so we get both the answers so so the current is 3 boat speed is 7 in any word problem you have to write answer very clearly right including units that is most important right so let's write down the answer find the speed of the boat in still water and speed of current or speed of boat in still water include units 7 what kilometers per hour do you see that that's first and then current 3 kilometers per hour so that is how you're going to solve such questions go through these steps that should be simple for you and this is a very important question from test point of view so I'm taking my time to go through these steps and making you understand and I hope it's absolutely clear feel free to post questions and share any doubts thank you and all the best